Hi there, how are you doing? Hope you are having a wonderful day and making it an awesome one. Today I am going to share with you how to make a shadow catcher and a reflection catcher in Eevee. By the way, this method is great for those people who have a PC that can't handle cycles and want to integrate CG elements into their real life footage. Here is a scene that is already set up. Here I just motion tracked the footage and animated my character and loaded in the HDRI of this room where I recorded this video. It has a camera and the track solid just like you have in After Effects. Now let's make a shadow catcher first. And if you already know about it and want to learn about reflection catcher then skip to the following time frame. First of all let's make a plane that will be our shadow catcher. Now go to materials tab and create a new material. Type in shadow catcher for organization and hit enter. Now drag it from here like this and go to shader editor. And also enable all these EV settings, ambient occlusion, bloom, green space reflections and also refraction, motion blur. Also one more thing here about ambient occlusion. I have tweaked these values based on how it would look like in cycles. All you gotta do is just open this scene in cycles and take a screenshot. After that, go back into Eevee and tweak these values to best match it with the cycle shadows. This is what I did here. Now let's go to Eevee's viewport render to see the shaders. Press Shift A and search for diffuse. Now search for shader to RGB so that we can turn this into RGB values. Connect this BSDF to shader and move it like this. I am pressing G to grab it. Now search for color ramp and plug the color into the factor. Plug the color ramp's color to the alpha channel. Nothing is happening. That's because there is one very important thing that will take the effect. Go into the material options and scroll at the very bottom and you will see settings. And it says blend mode. It is opaque. Change this to alpha blend. So I just disabled this overlay to see it better. Now just move these sliders to see if it works as i said make it like the cycles one by the way i am hiding this to avoid distractions okay so when you enable this ambient occlusion it will have these default values in my case 25 works the best it depends upon your scene this is the factor value you can even change it to any number more than one I think it looks way better than the default values. Okay, now the shadow is white. We just need to change this color here. Just make it black. Or if you want to make it even next level, you can pick a dark shadow that is already present in your scene and change this to that one. To do that, select the camera and make the opacity 100%. And in the shadow catcher materials, click this eyedropper and just pick the color of this shadow that is already present in the scene. Now I think it's way more accurate than just putting it black. Now we have a shadow catcher. It's time to create a reflection catcher just like we have in cycles. But unfortunately it doesn't available as of now in Eevee. But I have a workaround for you guys. Press shift A, create a plane, scale it to any decent value, go to the materials option and click on new and type in reflection Catcher. Drag it here and go to shader editor. The basic concept behind the reflection catcher is that we first render the reflection by isolating some things that I will show you in this video and the second thing we will render is the only version of your character to later exclude in the compositing. Rename the plane to reflection catcher. Now we have to tweak these values to make it best match it with our scene. Change the base color to black specular to 1 and reference down to 0 to make it the most reflective surface ever in the world. Now the reflection is not clearly visible. To make it clearer we need a thing called reflection plane. Otherwise it will not work. This is very important. Just add a reflection plane which is available in this light probe tab. Click on reflection plane and scale it up. Now press G and Z to move it along Z axis. I experiment with it. Move it slightly up to find that perfect spot. Now the reflection is so perfect. Now let's add some bumps like the surface in our scene. Here is the edge of the tile and some slight bumps in the reflection. Now let's add the imperfections to our reflection. Search for noise texture and let's add some bumps. Search for bump node and plug factor into height and normal into normals. Now play with the values to make it more realistic. Now one more thing I am going to add is the tile edge. Search for brick texture 
I am pressing Ctrl and Shift and clicking this brick texture to just see what's going on in the brick texture. Make sure you have the Node Wrangler enabled so that it can work. Change the offset to 1 to make a pattern like this and change the frequency to 1. Next, change the colors. Change the color 1 and color to black and the mortar color to white. Now I am going to add one more bump node. Plug the color to height. Now just connect this normal to this normal. Basically we are combining the brick texture with the noise texture to add the imperfections in the reflection. You can see the effect here. Obviously I am going to tune down the strength also the distance play with the values now our reflection catcher is ready we have to render it twice just for the reflection part the final pass is different so now there is another setting which is in the world tab here is our environment i don't think it's matching with the scene quite well and here is another tip for you guys to add a little bit of contrast so duplicate this node and add a mix node and change this to overlay Now it's adding the contrast, 0.75 is the nice number. I think now it's matching nicely. Ok now back to our stuff. Make some space for another mix node. Now search for light path and connect the glossy ray into the factor and change this color to black. It is just making everything black except for the reflections. Also we need to take care of this object because as of now EV doesn't support indirect only. So we gotta take care of that. Hence we need to render it two times. I hope EV gets indirect only. After rendering this, now we just need the reflections for best compositing. For that we need to select this and mute it and disable the reflection catcher and just render this character. Just this one. For that, make collections and just go here and select hold out. Select your scene that contains everything and click on this button. Now it will only render this character. After that, bring it in your favorite compositing software. It can also work in Blender in the compositing section, but I'm going to do this inside of After Effects. So this is what you will get. We have just the character here. Let's make it black and white. Search for levels and move these sliders to the left side. Here is our reflection. This is another pass to exclude. Go to the reflection layer and select Luma Inverted Matte. Now this just excluded the character from the reflection pass. Add curves to the character layer and go to alpha and increase this value to remove these edges. You can even duplicate it to improve the mask. Our reflection pass is ready. Just move it between the background and subject layer and turn the blending mode to screen. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This is Vilith from Mr. Cinematics and I will see you next time.